I've gone ahead and imported some images that I took recently at a car show and you'll be able to see exactly what we're talking about here with the calibration features. So here's a bright red Ferrari. Now after I import it, it doesn't look so red anymore. It looks kind of orangish. And this is a problem that I've always had with Lightroom and files off my Canon 30D. That reds just didn't seem to have the red that I expected. Yellows were a little off, but blues and greens seemed to be okay. But the reds were really, they were really bad. And what's worse is you would see that your image load initially and it would look really good and then all of a sudden it would just switch over to a version that you see on the screen. And that's because what happens is there's always an embedded JPEG preview in a raw file. That JPEG image is created based on the camera settings, whether you're maybe you're in portrait mode or standard mode or vivid mode or D2X mode 3 or whatever mode that you have the camera set in for those JPEGs is applied to that JPEG preview. So what happens is it loads in, you see that preview, and then Lightroom switches over to the raw image that you then want to be working on. The problem there is very often the JPEG looks really good and that's where we want to start. So if I wanted to bring in this image, first thing I would do is probably use one of my presets like Basic BAM, which kind of brings it back a little bit. It adds kind of the gloss back to it. And then I would go in and maybe go to my um, lighting, maybe go to my saturation, and maybe I try bumping up the reds, and right about there, you know, I'm kind of happy with it. You know, maybe, maybe a touch more red into it so I can try and get what I'm looking for. The problem is it's not really exactly what you may want. You may want to go a little different route with it. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this image. With the camera calibration, you can come down to the cal color calibration and you know you can create something that matches your camera profile. So you can play around with the hue and you know, maybe the, sat the red saturation and you know, come up with something based on some images, maybe a color chart or something that you're then working off of to come up with the color so that they look right. Well, what Adobe's done is they've created camera profiles for most of the major cameras out there. So again, I'm going to reset this. Now we're back to this orangish color. Because I've already installed those that were available from Adobe's website, I can come over here and I'll pick my camera standard. Bam! I've got the color that I expected. I got the color that I saw. I got this color that was on the back of the LCD and I got the color that this image started with before it switched over to this really kind of a blandish orange color. So that's how the camera calibration profiles work. Now what I've done is I've kind of gone a step further and I've started to create some profiles with these. So I can do some really neat things by just getting over to that really quickly and putting that together. I'm actually going to have an entire preset done of these for you pretty soon. Now what's nice is create a, a little preset based on this basically camera standard which is a good one or faithful if if you tend to like that one better or maybe some of the other ones if you're doing portraits but the uh, the standard is my favorite because it it's more of like what I want with a little bit of extra pop in saturation or if you wanted to go with I'm oops I meant uh, faithful then you're probably going to be you know in the ballpark there pretty quick and then going and touching it up from there is going to really help you out let's go over and take a look at a portrait and see how that comes together so let me just uh, come over here and we'll grab one of Brooke
Okay, so here's my starting point where I haven't really done anything to it. It's kind of right out of the camera. Looks a little orangey when it should have been a little warmer. And I'm just going to come over here and go to my camera standard. And all of a sudden I've got the light that I'd actually set up in there. I wanted a much warmer light to it. Now if you want to use some of the other settings, there's portrait, you know, again, faithful. So these will give you some different approaches. I'm just going to stick with standard for right now. Now another cool feature that I, I kind of am going to mention as long as I'm in this is clarity now instead of starting at zero and going up to a hundred is now in the middle and you can actually bump that down and all of a sudden get yourself a really smooth you know skin tone on a person. And we go back from one to after by taking clarity down I reduce the detail that's in the face and I get a really nice skin tone and so for that I've actually created a preset right here I call this uh, super portrait Canon or super portrait and it just does it all in one shot for me or if I use super portrait Canon it's using a slightly different one so I'm experimenting with these presets to see how I can use these things to come up with some presets that just nail it for you right from the beginning so that's two things I just wanted to mention real quickly. The main one being the camera calibration. 